In this video, we're going to talk about my first investment property and some of the things that you should not do when you're looking to buy your first one. Let's jump right in. Welcome to The Real Real, the beginner's guide to saving and making money through real estate investing and financial education. And please do me a favor. If you like the content in this video, I need you to elbow drop the like button, okay? I'm on my way home from my first out of college job. I'm two years in, and that day was very stressful. I can remember it like it was yesterday. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't be going through these 30 to 40 years. <laughs> And um, also, I was thinking about a book I had read called Multiple Streams of Income. And in short, what that book talked about was the average person should have seven to 11 streams of income other than your regular job. And I was thinking to myself, well, I know I don't have seven to 11 streams of income, so what can I do additional to be successful or to have that extra source of income coming in. And it's, it was, it was crazy. Like as soon as I had that thought, there was a commercial that came on and I'm pretty sure everyone heard of the, uh, those real estate uh, commercials or the seminars, you know, the free seminar real estate, you know, you can make so much money in real estate. And that was my first time hearing the commercial like that. And I was thinking, this could be an additional source of income. So I signed up. I ended up going to the to the seminar and I left so enthused that I, I actively started looking for uh, investment properties. And I had a relative in Montgomery at the time and he was telling me about his friend who was a licensed real estate agent, a wholesaler. And also he invests in real estate. So I said, okay, you know, hook me up with your, with your guy. I want to know what he's talking about. And he was, when I met him, he was all excited. Oh, I'm glad you're in real estate. I mean, I mean, that's the best thing that you can do. He was, you know, all this type talk, you know, I'm already hyped up, you know, so I'm ready to pull the trigger. I had already saved up some money, uh, you know, but you know, most of the money was in my savings account. So I wasn't really doing anything. So I'm ready to put my money to work. And he was like, yeah, I know this guy. Uh, he's a rehabber. And, uh, you know, I want you to meet him. So I did. Uh, I, I met the guy. He seemed pretty legit. And he was trying to sell his house that he just got finished rehabbing. And, you know, uh, this is my first, uh, you know, I'm a real estate investor now, you know, got the title and all this. So I was all excited about it. And I go look at the house. I mean, everything looked good. I mean, he, you know, new roof, the new plumbing, uh, new AC unit. So I'm thinking it's just a legit, uh, legit deal um, because my friend, my, my relative's friend had told me it was a good deal. So my first mistake <laughs> was believing uh, someone who was trying to sell me something uh, and come to find out the house was overpriced, uh, the tenant was leaving, and I bought the house in early September of 2008. And if you know the history, I think September 2008, the housing market crashed. So I was stuck with this house that was underwater. I was evicting the person at that time. And I couldn't sell the house, of course, because it was underwater. So in this, like I said, this video, that was my, the big mistake that I made. So I would, you know, recommend that if you're interested in investing in real estate on your first, well, not even your first one. I mean, anytime you you have to do your research on the property. I mean, just because somebody tells you it's a good deal, you know, I'm I, you can make this much money. Uh, this house, I have the comps and this and all that. You need to always check for yourself, your taxes, uh, your insurance, the the cost of maintenance. You know, what if you lose a tenant? You, you need to think about those type scenarios 
when you're investing in residential real estate. So that was my quick tip. Oh yeah, I still I still have the house. It's still it's not quite underwater right now, but it took a long time to get where I am today. And that like I said, that was back in 2008. So it was a it was a bad deal. But the thing is with real estate is if you can keep it long enough, eventually it'll start paying you. But I have made my money back from the down payment, but it took a long time, a lot of heartache. Rule number one, always do your research. Rule number two, do your research. Rule number three, do your research. But don't let the research, you know, halt you in your progress. You know, you I've been in a situation where, you know, you want to research and read and check and read. And it's two years later and you haven't done anything. So always do your research, but always take action. And I want to share two books that I read when I was going through some those troubling times. One uh, was... The name of the first book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Everybody's heard of that book, but I will link those, book, uh, those books in the uh, description below. So with that being said, I'm out.